All right, guys, Old School Dan here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Vince Garanda's Garanda's full body routine. We're going to go over some notes first, then we're going to move on to the actual routine, then we're going to talk about sources where I got this routine from. With that being said, let us move forward. All right, so here are some notes I wrote down. Doesn't matter what time you train, try to train at the same time each day. Most authorities recommend beginner train full body three times per week. Three sets of eight of ten reps with eight to ten exercises. So this routine is actually a beginner routine that Vince Serrano recommends. So most authorities would, would recommend a full body routine with um, three sets of ten reps with eight to ten exercises, being squat, bench, um, lat pull down, calf raises, etc. Vince Serrano recommends something different. He recommends training six days a week for the beginner because the beginner is full of enthusiasm, they're full of energy. They're able to recover a lot quicker, so they can actually handle that. Whereas when you become a little bit more experienced, you don't recover as fast. Therefore, you need more, you might need more rest days. So, this routine I'm about to give you is a cycle. He this is a cycle you follow. So, week one, you do one set of e of each exercise. Week two, you do two sets. Week three, you do three sets of each ex each exercise. And after that, he doesn't change the sets. He doesn't really change the reps. All he does is just change the exercises so instead of doing maybe like the decline pulley hug you're gonna do maybe like some dips instead of doing the barbell drag curl you might do some incline curl all right so now let's move on to the actual routine exercise number one decline pulley hug he recommends this exercise because it's the fastest for developing pec shape he doesn't recommend the bench press because he feels like it gives you fat pecs a woman's bust, thick pectorals like watermelons, and he's all about cosmetic bodybuilding, not much of a, he's, he's about making things look good. So he feels like this is a good exercise to do. So the next exercise is the short pulley row. It's equivalent to what we call nowadays the cable row. He um, chooses ex this exercise because it's a good upper back builder. And he's not a fan of building the lower lats because it, he feels like it strips you away of your um, V taper. Then we got the uh, lateral raise for the third exercise done for 12 reps. I mean, 10 reps, sorry. Um, this one is perfect for building those side delts. Um, good for adding to your V taper because it adds width to your uh, V taper. The uh, short pulley row adds width to your upper back. It means it gives you those, um, those wide lats. And the lateral raise gives you wide shoulders. Therefore, you have the formula for a V taper, a simple V taper right there. Then moving on to the tricep press down, um, he does this in a fashion where it hits the lateral head of the tricep, which he claims to be the most impressive part of the tricep. Then we got the uh, barbell body drag curl. This one, so he chooses this exercise over a barbell curl because this will perpetuate the involvement of the biceps and take the pressure off the front deltoids. So yeah, he feels like a lot of the exercises you do already hit a lot of the, the a lot of the front deltoid. Therefore, he never recommends anybody to train the front deltoid because it gets a lot of work already. So he's he, he's a he's an isolation guy. So you know, bodybuilding is an isolation sport. That is correct. So then we got the seated wrist curl um, for the forearms. Then we got the uh, leg extension. Um, Chooses this over squats because he feels like squats give you a, um, he, you know, he's just not a fan of heavy squats because it gives you, a, he, he feels like it gives you a fat ass. So remember, remember, Vince Strawn is all about, all about cosmetic bodybuilding. You know, he doesn't want too big thighs. He just wants striated, you know, striated, ripped thighs. Then we got the leg curl done for the thigh biceps. Um, again, you know, it's all bodybuilding is an isolation sport you're about isolating the muscles this is exactly what he's doing then we got the calf heel raise equivalent to what we call the standing calf raise for the gastronemius of the calf then we got the uh, table crunch um the table crunch done for 10 reps plus upper and middle abdominals then we got the double up the du so the table crunch is the bottom left hand corner um that's the exercise right there we got the double up done for uh, the f complete frontal midsection, 10 reps plus. Then we got the bent. Oh, I'm sorry. I went and I went backwards. That's all right. 
Then we got the bent knee leg raise done for 20 reps plus is done for the lower abdominals. And there you have it folks, that is a beginner routine. Let's move on to the, uh, let's finish up with the um, sources where I got this uh, routine from. So this is where I sourced the routine from. It's from Unleashing the Wild Physique by Vince Sharonda and Robert Kennedy. Great book, I got it online for like what, $30. Um, it's a pretty good book. You learn a lot about Vince Sharonda's methods. You actually got a couple diets in there. Um, you got Mohamed Maki's 8x8 routine in there. Uh, lots of rare photos that you haven't seen of bodybuilders. Dave Draper, Reg Park, Vince Sharonda, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You got tons of photos in there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'm Wolf School Dan. I'm gone. Peace. Enjoy your day. Thank you.